Welcome into Taco Buller Gaming. My name is Taco Buller. Today we continue our run playing as Najd in Europa Universalis 4. And uh, unfortunately there's no face cam today with my uh, current situation uh, with where I am in my dwelling place. So in the last one, uh, I got a little tilted. We lost a war to the Mamluks as I was... Well, we technically lost war to Hassa as I was trying to be opportunistic and failed. Uh, we lost a lot of land up here. The good news is that the Ottomans no longer hate me. Uh, they're still hostile toward me, but uh, if that ever changes, uh, we're going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and send a diplomat to improve relations with them. Um, just to try and get that hostile out of there, and we might be able to get our alliance back. In the meantime, I was looking around. We're actually not that bad off because I surrendered early. Uh, we've lost some provinces, sure. Um, but we still have a pretty intact army and we have 8,000 some odd men. So I began looking around and I think there is an opportunity here to attack Adal. I can pull Ethiopia into this war for favors. We greatly outnumber people. We're allied to here. So if I can take these guys as a vassal is what I'm hoping for. Uh, they have a core in Aden and, and a claim over here. So that might, might be helpful. Uh, and then Ethiopia's diplomatic screen had them, you know, uh, vital interest of all this land, but this was only strategic interest. So I went ahead and, and said, hey, I want this. I have a claim on this. Maybe they'll give it to me. Doubt it. But I have to have Ethiopia to cross the strait because I don't have a navy on my own. Uh, so I, I have to have Ethiopia here. So I'm going to have to call Ethiopia in. Uh, and I do think that uh, you know, Ethiopia can probably deal with, uh, how do I pronounce that, Agadeen uh, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to call them in. I'm going to claim uh, Tahura here. But even if I just wind up with money and um, vassalizing these guys, it's going to be okay uh, by my stretch. And that should happen. We should get that. Um, we're going to maintain that diplomat there for now. Throughout this war. Alright, so the Ottomans have declared war on QQ. Aiden probably won't let us through. They're, that's actually pretty close. Um, we'll go ahead and pull the diplomat back. So I have a diplomat. But we'll start improving relations with Aiden. I don't know if we're going to be able to get them up. No, they want my provinces. They're rival and they want my provinces. That's not happening. So, uh, we'll return the diplomat here. That's fine. Well, for now, then, we need to come down here. Ethiopia has won. A uh, truce with Aiden has expired. We're going to maintain the diplomat. Sorry if you just heard something big on the screen there. Oh, the Timurids are at war with the Ottomans, but so are the Transoxiana. That's intriguing. Uh, where's the fort around here? I guess this is the fort. It's only level one. I'm going to run some risks. Let's see if I can't get this land. Uh, I know Ethiopia has, you know, desire of the land, but they're really high, uh, an opinion of me anyway, so. I'm going to send the, uh, full three stack there against the one. Increase demand. Um... Uh, sure. I'm not sure what the negative there was, so, uh, a little bit nervous. The entire country needs him. We get a level two for it. That's not happening. So we're going to let him stay home. All right. They have, uh, now moved in here, so that's good. Get the last one there. Hopefully we don't lose that at any point. But let's go back for the primary goal, really. 
uh, at the start here. Hasa has declared me a rival. That's excellent. That is excellent. I will declare them a rival when I get done. Maybe. Because I don't want to encourage their relationship with the Mamluks, but at this point might be unavoidable. Alright, so that's a desert. I thought that might be mountains, so I'm glad that's a desert. Take them out quickly. Head on over. Yeah, Ethiopia took that province. That's expected. Uh, the problem here is that Ethiopia just took control of this. No, we have the siege. Okay, good. Alright, so this was a level 1, right? Yeah, it's a level 1 fort, so we just need to leave 4,000. With the general. I'm going to come on down here. Our military advisor has died. Let's see what we can get. Uh, they're all level 2. I do not have the money to hire a level 2. Don't really want to fire either, but we'll fire the tax guy. Hope we can get him into level 1. Alright, so... Uh, Beja's at war with Ethiopia. I did not think Beja was in this war, but it seems to be the only war they're in. Are we at war with Beja? Yes, we are. I wasn't expecting that. Well, let's go help out. We've already won that siege. Wow. That was fast. That was very fast. They, uh... Alright, Hormuz's royal marriage is over. I do want to keep Hormuz for now. Alright, uh, here we go. So we wanted to vassalize them. Uh, they will not accept that yet. It's a ways away yet. Now we can't carpet siege. But we can uh, start to siege things back. Okay, they're taking the battle. Let's go help them out and let's see if we get an advisor. Yearly prestige, that'll work. Level one, it's fine. Yeah, they needed our help on that. Needed our help big time. Alright, that should also weaken Hydra Moots. Uh, so they're eight away now. And Ethiopia is going to go for the kill. Now they have no army. They should be willing to do anything, and they are. So we get our primary war goal of vassalizing these guys. It also reduces the amount of troops around here, although Ethiopia is breaking that up so they can, they can carpet siege. Now the question is, do I want to vassalize Beja? Um, Ethiopia views just the one province here as of strategic interest. But I, I don't think that that gives me any benefit. Um... The one thing that might give me some benefit is making them break their alliance. But even there, I have my doubts. I'm also watching what's happening down here. Alright, the city of Medina! Um, we need to upkeep those shrines. That's 15 years of minus 20 taxes, though. Good thing the taxes are not really a thing in this part of the world. 
Alright, Beja, you are a lot sieged. Are you willing to give up? The answer is no. They're trying to seize back some of my land here. If Ethiopia was smart, they'd let them win that siege and then get on it. But they aren't smart. And for that, we are thankful. Alright, that was a stack wipe of all the armies that they have. Beja is willing to go out for white peace. Or I can get some money, but how much money would we be talking about? Ten. No. I just want them gone. Okay. Ugadine, wherever that is. Oh, it's down here. Okay. And so again, I think that we have enough... Um... Goodwill built up with Ethiopia. Um, I'm gonna... Eh, it's 1507... We're going to have the Age of Reformation here real soon. Let's just do Justified Wars. And I am going to go ahead and start my Golden Era. I forgot that I could do that. That was one of the things I checked prior to starting this episode. They have a rebellion, so the timer's on. Um, we want both of these. I think. There's someone who's no longer a valid rival for me. I can't believe as Naj I have 77 power projection. Especially after losing a war. Um, 17 months of 1.07. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna run that risk. So I think I'm oh, I'm not surviving on war reps. That's on my own. Nice! Alright, we have the ability to go ahead and do the infantry, that's not a problem. Hey, there we go. We got some ducats out of that. So lost some taxes, but got some ducats at the end. There we go. Ideally, I'd be able to give Ogadin to Ethiopia, and then full annex this, which would give this province to Ethiopia as well. But we have to make sure the rebels don't win before we do to make that happen. Um... Admin is less valuable than Diplo at this point, since we're trying to catch up on Diplo. Oh, they're sieging my stuff down. Let's go deal with that. Goodness gracious. I just ignored it. Ah, the rebel's got a wall breach. That does not help us. not help us at all. Then again, the rebels having control of that province probably doesn't hurt us either. Alright, they're only a two. So if we stay in fours, we should be okay. And Ethiopia should fix that. Uh, little problem in the army as well. We can invite a scholar... Uh, it was development cost and admin tech cost. Let's go ahead and do the admin tech cost this time, since we're at a point of getting tech. Alright, there it is. They've taken control of that province. Uh, they're going to head down here. The rebels just took control of the capital. That's fine by me. Oh, our king has died. But that's okay. We have an excellent chief. Now a 5-4-5. Five, five. We only have 67 legitimacy, but at least it's it's not red. You know, it's not even yellow. It's, it's green. It's good, I should at least say. Go 
ahead and get those there. And now that Oganin is fully occupied, we're going to fully annex them to Ethiopia, but we get the money. We get 1.41 ducats. That is okay. Now, it's only 69 uh, war score. But uh, here's the thing. That's occupied by rebels now. It's not occupied by Ethiopia. Which means that we get it. Uh, we're two away from this, but the rebels will take a province by then. I think. So um, we get these back. There's a chance. There it is. Okay, we have full annexation. For some reason... For some reason, full annexation involves money, too? Worry about that? Okay. Here's a question. Can we make it a Najd vassal? We can. Is a vassal better for us? Well, we can do a vassal, or we can do a full annexation. We can't do a vassal. So, a vassal might be better, but if we do it, we'll have to release them. So, again, the question... Sorry, again, if this is... There, my microphone's kind of sitting on a towel. Or a blanket. So again, the question, is it better to spend the admin to core or to release the vassal? If we release the vassal, we would have cores in Ethiopia. I don't think we want that. So I'm going to go ahead and just spend the admin on it. Uh, the rooting out of corruption, uh, we have some money that we'll be losing, but we have 204 ducats, so I'm not worried about the money at all right now. Even though I'd like to spend the 204 on uh, my centers of trade over here. But I would say that was a productive war. Now the question becomes the Mamluks. Can we get them to lose any of these alliances around us? Not sure. But we can, ah, they're allied to Ethiopia, but we can probably fix that. Uh, we can now get this. So the Ottomans um, are still hostile towards us. And they're at 37. So let us uh, give a scornful insult to the Mamluks. Let's start with that. And let's also... Uh, oh, we have a rivalry attitude toward them. Okay. Uh, we have the prestige. Let's send the scornful insult. That will raise our opinion with the Ottomans up by 30. And so even though they won our provinces, there's a chance that they will change out of hostile. Um, here we go. If I move to threaten, they will view this as a sign that you are willing to ally them for safety, but also that you're seeking other powerful allies to protect against them. Well, that would be an accurate statement anyway, so. All right. Um, so we have QQ and Ajam. Uh, let's go ahead and rival... Uh, Ottomans, are, you're at war with QQ. Do you have a rivalry with them? No. And uh, we're just going to... Go with that there for now. Uh, no, we can rival Ajam too because they are rival to the Timurans. So we will. 
I thought they might be allied to the Timurids, but QQ's allied to the Timurids, which we just rivaled QQ. But that's fine. They're about to probably be surpassed by us anyway. So it'll be okay. Now these rebels should go away because a doll doesn't exist. I think. Not overly certain on that. But I think. 19. The uh, combat width is 25. So we'll still just be infantry. Truce of the Ottomans has ended. They are still hostile. But we shall try. If we can ever unhostile, then uh, we would be good. Will this go up? At any point, uh, is it is it impacted by them being hostile? No. Okay. But have a claim minus ten. I don't have a claim on your provinces, so I consider these to be my core provinces. Oh, so I didn't lose that. I can reconquest. I can reconquest. Okay. Alright, so uh, what I do want to do, though, for sure... No, stay put on the fort. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put these two provinces as interest in hopes that my newly formed vassal over here will uh, grant me the honor of getting a claim... Because that would get me to war with Hassa without the Mamluks, and we can actually break out of this, maybe. That's a thing. Um, so I need that, and then I need... Uh, we're going to go ahead and break this off. Hopefully I remember that that's a thing. I guess we just... We have to beat that army. Uh, because I do need to go ahead and get a claim on Warsongali. And hope that I can uh, make Ethiopia break the truce at some point. Or break the alliance at some point. Um, oh, that's why I can't make an accord. I have the points, I just can't, uh, can't do that. I did check buildings. Like I said, uh, the best building I have is upgrading my centers of trade. All right, this is desert, so we should be okay to cross in here and fight this fight. We're going to go ahead and shift consolidate to try and save some money. In Amira of the people, we can gain five legitimacy or we get national unrest down for money and, and admin power. If I am worried about national unrest, that's a good thing, and I am worried about national unrest, so let's do that. I know I need legitimacy too, but in this case, I think that that's a good thing. The backing members of the Holy Roman Empire... Oh, I thought that was actually to me for a second there. At least the Ottomans are only hostile, they're not domineering. So that's at least something. The doll and separatists are large. Uh, did I not? I did not go through with building the troops. Okay. Yeah, let's go down here and uh, do the, the whole rebel thing. I also need to know when the Mamluks are at war, because if the Mamluks are at war, we might be able to uh, not join in the war, particularly if it's the Ottomans coming down. We don't need to join in the war, but we won't be able to attack uh, Hassa or Aden, or both, while they are distracted. Okay. 
And uh, Timurids pay money to the Ottomans, but that's it. Does, they continue to not have money, which makes them a horrible ally, but uh, it could be worse. Religious scholars disagree. Oh, fun. Uh, I do need to... Uh, Uh, I need my, my person back for that. And I'm just not going to do get that, am I? Oh, I need a... Oh, I don't need it in general. I have one. That's good, because I would like to save up. Alright, well, that's the unrest in my country. I guess there's some, some unrest up north, but... Uh, we're not going to mess with it. Not going to worry about that. The Mamelukian separatists are only at 20%. And it's really only in here. The promise gives me 0.12. It's just increased autonomy. We can get rid of everything but the Adalan separatists. Of which there's only two provinces and 10,000 on those. And so that's uh, these two. They would spring forth from here. So let's move over here. And so we're going to do that. And that should create an automatic defensive uh, battle when the rebels fire. And we're good to go on doing at least one from quantity. And, uh, for some reason, we're making money now. Okay, the Mamluks have declared war on QQ. That is not the kind of war I was waiting for. But uh, I'm kind of surprised QQ is still a valid rival, frankly. Alright, we should be fighting them defensively, and we are. And that's that. Common rivals, same religious school, all this stuff is there, but that they want our provinces modifier is enough. The good news is we're large enough that even if they came in and took all of Arabia, we could probably exile ourselves. No problems. Alright, so there's 10, 5, 7, and 8. So at least wait for the core constructions to be done. Not sure if we'd be able to break the alliance or not. Obviously, we cannot attack Warsan Gully if uh, Ethiopia doesn't join. Now this is intriguing. We have our claim here. We can't get anyone to join currently. The debt is huge. But they're actually allied to both Aden and Hassa. I'm not, I'm not, you know, this one down here. Um, so it's possible that once we can break a truce, we might be able to get something. Alright, so here's the other rebels that are forming up here. Asa and Harar are apparently down here. Asa's these three, Harar's these two. So that's what uh, matters on that front. So we'll do that. 
Uh, I can invest in a new idea again. Oh, for trade over here. Oh, I wasn't done with that. I thought I was done with that. Okay. Well, I have a new merchant. Um... Not really sure where to put things that I haven't already put things that I have any power in, real power. I guess I could do Hormuz. In the Ethiopia one I have there. 3% in Ethiopia. I'll go ahead and put the transfer here. I don't really think it's going to matter that much, but we'll try. Try to do something. Yeah, the alliance structures around here are interesting. That is for sure. We do appear to have enough money to go ahead and up that to 19. So I would like to. So when is this truce up that we would be breaking? 1512. When in 1512? May. This goes down every year, but um, we can increase opinion to get it back up in January. Uh, do we state? Yeah, we state. State it all. State it all. Protestantism has been entrenched. Go ahead and uh, pull this guy back. Our advisor just died, but we can get a Diplo Rep level 1. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. Can I get you to break this? Yes, you will break the alliance. That is excellent, excellent news. Warsangali is now completely and totally uh, open for attack. That means it is time to do so. Um... Where? It's local unrest, sure. Uh, that's in the Mara province. Newly acquired. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's do it. That'll help. Uh, but we're going to fight this war in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. All that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.